All right, so here's a problem that's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Um, I do think it's phrased kind of confusingly. I had to read it a couple times the last part to understand what it's asking. But basically, all the problem wants us to find is a value of L, which fits this parameters, the parameters given in the last part. Uh, but specifically, we're asked to give L in terms of this wavelength lambda multiplied by some other value. And that value, that multiple, is what specifically we're being asked to provide. Now because the waves both still end up traveling in the same direction by the end of it, any phase changes between them are going to be entirely because of the additional distance that wave A has to travel here when it's moving uh, vertically, when it travels this path L. It's going to be traveling that distance twice, though, so the total additional distance that wave A travels, more than B, is going to be 2 times L. Now we want to know how this relates to the wavelength when A and B are supposed to be exactly out of phase with each other by the time the reflections are done with. Now, in order for two waves to be exactly or perfectly out of phase, that means that they will be as far from each other as possible which means there's going to be a 180 degree difference in their cycles, or they're going to be half a cycle apart. And we can connect that to the wavelength by saying that this distance of 2L is going to put, um, it's going to put a wavelength difference of half, since they're half a cycle apart now. And since we're ultimately trying to solve for L here, let's just divide both sides of the equation by 2. And so we end up with lambda divided by 4, which is effectively the same thing as writing one-fourth times lambda. And this is basically our answer. This is L in terms of lambda. And since the problem is specifically asking for what we're going to multiply lambda by, then technically our answer is just this part right here, the one-quarter. All right, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, if you have any more detailed questions or if you have requests for more problems for me to do in the future, I have a Discord server that I've linked below and in the channel description that you can come to. That's all for now, though. Have a nice day.